Hey, what's up everyone? So in this video, I'm gonna show you some of the best apps that you can install in your Samsung Galaxy devices. These apps will add new features and improve existing ones, overall making your phone more enjoyable. So let's get started. The first app here is Today Weather. Today Weather is probably one of the best weather app you can find for any Android device. Has an amazing design with all the data you would need regarding weather. As I said, the UI is great. It shows the temperature, humidity, UV index, visibility, along with a short description of the current weather. And in the app, if you scroll down, you can see detailed hourly and daily forecast. I also like the charts created for the data points. Down below, there is more info about pollen count, moon phase, or the feature that I absolutely love is radar. It lets you see temperature, rain, and other values overlaid in a map. You can also use the slider to see the changes happening in future as well. You can just slide the slider and see the changes happening in real time. Really good feature makes planning trip much easier. Lastly, there's also option to choose between different data sources, including dark sky. There's also a variety of widgets to match any of your needs. You can choose between daily, hourly, or a big widget with all the information. Overall, this app provides a lot of value. The next app on the list is Sesame Shortcuts. Sesame Shortcuts is a powerful universal search for Android, and it can change the way you use your phone. It's a really fast way to search over various apps, web search, play store app search, searching a song in Spotify, searching contacts. So after you type a keyword, down below you can choose which app to launch the search from. And the right way to use it is to place a widget on your home screen and then use it for everything. And after you start using it, you will not want to go back. It also integrates with Nova Launcher, so all the searches in Nova Launcher gets powered by Sesame Shortcuts. So the next app on the list is Pixel Recorder. So this recorder app is made by Google for Pixel phones and they have not released it for any Android phones yet. But you can find the APK online and install it on your phone. So you can just download the APK file and sideload it on your Galaxy S21 and it will work fine. So the reason you want this app is because of its transcript feature which can provide a transcript of your recording in real time. You can even search for a recording by typing in what you said in that recording. It will just go through the transcript to match the search. It's really powerful stuff from Google and you can have it in your phone by just installing the APK. So the next app here is Galaxy Max Hers. So this is also an app that you cannot find in Play Store when you need to download the APK to install it. So this neat app provides you with more control over the refresh rate of your screen. You can set the maximum and minimum refresh rate of your screen and also enable 120Hz when the phone is in power saving mode, something you cannot do without this app. It also provides some screen off modes that is intended to save battery by having the lowest hertz in always on display mode, enabling power saving mode when the screen is off. You'll also see two toggle options in quick settings panel to choose the refresh rate and resolution. And you can set this value to be low to save battery on your phone. Overall, it's a good app and gives you more control over your screen. The next app on the list is Nova Launcher 7. So if you don't know, Nova Launcher 7 is in beta and available for you to download. And Nova Launcher 7 brings a lot of updates with the modern UI and some enhanced features while still offering the same level of customization like before. It will allow you to change the home screen layout, icon size, hide labels, change the number of icons in dock, add multiple dock pages, change your folder style, you can choose swipe up and swipe down actions for apps and folders in your home screen and the list just goes on. You can check out the settings menu for all the customization options. There's also just a support 
to launch your actions on the fly. So you can choose gestures for swipe up, down, double tap, double tap and click, and many more. This app really allows you to tailor your phone to your needs. Uh, however, you might face some navigation issues while using custom launcher with gesture navigation. And if you get annoyed by it, you can always switch to bottom navigation buttons and it will not exist. The last app on this list is Package Disabler Pro. So Samsung phones come with a lot of bloatware installed and there is no way to completely uninstall them but you can disable them so that the app is not accessible in your phone which is very close to uninstalling. So just open this app, go to menu and click disable all bloatware and you disable all the stuff that you don't need including Bixby. So after you do this, there will be no way to launch Bixby in your phone and it will never show up again. I suppose this will also help in battery life as none of those services will ever run again. I really think this is something a lot of Samsung users want. So this might disable some of the features that you actually use in your phone. So for me, the live wallpapers were disabled. So if that happens, just re-enable it and it will work fine. So that's all for this video guys, I hope you guys found some apps for yourself and I will be coming out with a lot more good videos for your phone so do subscribe, see you guys in the next one.